Vaccines are the single most beneficial way of spending healthcare dollars. The very few dollars giving a vaccine give somebody lifelong immunity. Uh, we are so lucky to have vaccines. Uh, the smallpox vaccine is one of the fantastic achievements medicine has. Especially vaccines given in childhood protect children from debilitating illnesses their entire life. If we think just 110 years ago, 120 years ago, the turn of the 20th century, the average lifetime was at that time about 50 years. If you will go back 4,000 years more, people lived on the average 30, 35 years. So it took the human race about 4,000 years to extend life from 35 to 50, 55, 20 years in 4,000 years. And then in one single century, we jumped by 30 years. Now we are living on the average 80 to 85 years. What's magic about the 20th century? Science and technology. What's in science and technology? Vaccinations, antibiotics, understanding diet. So there is no doubt at all or whatsoever for the importance of vaccination, adding not only to our lifespan, but to our quality of life, being healthy rather than being sick. Vaccines have revolutionized health. I mean, I grew up uh, when people, uh, there was still smallpox around in the world when I was born. Uh, I knew people who had had smallpox. Uh, I had friends who had had polio. Vaccines are the most important form of public health uh, that we have. The immune system is designed to react to an infection, but it doesn't know what infection there's going to be. And so it just waits there until an actual organism infects you, a virus, and then it makes a response. But that takes time. Are there any things that we can do to enhance our immunity and protect us a little bit more? Well, fortunately, your immune system is very much boostable. And the way to boost it is by giving it experience. And by that, I mean you get yourself vaccinated. The key thing with a vaccine is to get exposed to the disease, but in a way that's not harming. So essentially, it's sort of teaching, it's a bit like a soldier training, you know, it's using a dummy bullet. And it's very, very powerful because the immune system is, has a great memory. It can remember these things for decades. Unfortunately, these days, information gets onto the internet and the average person has trouble uh, understanding which information is reliable and which is not. It really bothers me that people who do not understand science, uh, or even worse, people who should know better, are spreading uh, you know, s sort of pseudo-scientific false propaganda about the dangers fake of things. news. It's equivalent of fake news. They also want answers for why diseases like autism occur. And if you find an answer you know, on the internet, it says it's a vaccine and you don't have enough knowledge to interpret that information. So do vaccines cause autism? It. Well, there's no evidence that vaccines do cause autism. Uh, vaccines, uh, in general, are very safe. Vaccines are not very dangerous. Millions of people have had them, and overall they saved a huge number of lives. There is absolutely no evidence that any kind of vaccine causes autism. It's wonderful. Think how polio disappeared, how measles disappeared, how cholera disappeared. I mean, I was born, I think there were at least 40 countries uh, which had smallpox. I can remember when I grew up and there was no vaccine for poliovirus, that there were kids who couldn't walk on their own. Uh, there were kids who were killed by poliovirus. You know, everyone's very worried about the microcephaly from Zika virus now, but rubella causes 100,000 cases of the same debilitating deformity every single year. And that's preventable by a vaccine. I use polio as the example because it's everybody knows polio. You, when you get exposed to polio, even you're vaccinated, you still get infected. But you have time to recall and clear it before it does any damage to you. Vaccines are, are critically important to the health of our population. And if we didn't have them, we would be killed right and left. The importance of vaccination should not be and cannot be underestimated. We need vaccination. We need it for our children 
and we need it for public health purposes. If nobody used vaccines, we'd be in a fairly lamentable situation again pretty soon. In places where there isn't vaccination, we're seeing epidemics of measles. There are people who uh, believe that the polio vaccine is some sort of, you know, Western plot or something like that. You know, it's, it's really misguided. And now it's come back uh, in pockets of people that were not vaccinated. Not vaccinated for religious reasons, not vaccinated for scare reasons, uh, which are just simply wrong.